So we at TYT Sports like to ruffle feathers, me particularly like to ruffle feathers, and there's some talking points out there that many of our great fans of the YouTube channel have uh, commented in the section below. Some of them uh, come uh, on our What If Challenges that me and Jason do with FIFA, but some of them are just, just questions that you would ask maybe when you've had a too few many pints at the pub and you just kind of think, what would happen if this, if, how would this team play here? So we're going to take some of those questions because that is exactly what we like to do. We're not the mainstream sports channel that runs with everyday questions. Or will Barcelona win the league? Well, most likely they will. But what would happen if Manchester City, in the form that they're in at the moment, in the football that they're playing, how would they finish in La Liga play? And that is a question that crosses over between many arguments about whether La Liga is the better league or whether Premier League is the most competitive, blah, blah, blah. I'll, I'll put my point out there before I introduce our guests and go into it. Premier League, for me, is the most entertaining, most competitive from start to finish. I don't need to say this again. People call me a Premier League fanboy. I've obviously been brought up in the UK. I've got somewhat of a biased opinion, but I still know football and I know that competitiveness is a huge factor for me. There's a reason why Madrid and Barcelona have a 60-plus goal differential advantage over the teams in the lower league because they just bang teams 6-7-0 at times. And it, it, although it is competitive, uh, still it still, for me, isn't the most competitive from start to finish. So this is a question that many have asked, and we brought in Chris here from 90men com a great website you can check out. Chris is here to, to share his thoughts on this. So the question is, Chris, straight away, I've got my opinion on this, but I want to get yours. How would Manchester City figure in La Liga football? Where do you think in the form that they're in at the moment they would finish in amongst the big boys in Spain? I think if Man City were playing in La Liga, La Liga this season, they'd finish the fourth, maybe third if they were lucky. I don't think they'd be challenging. I think they'd be struggling to get into a Champions League spot, uh, which is, you know, no slight on them. But the Premier League isn't. It's it's competitive, but it's competitive because everyone's being dragged down, rather than you know Barcelona and Real at the moment they're dragging everyone else in the league up. Um, the Atletico are coming up and challenging Valencia look really good this season. Um, but then you, City are just so inconsistent. You wouldn't. I was about to say you wouldn't get um, <laughs> you wouldn't get um, Barcelona getting beaten four one by a mid-table team like Spurs, but that um, kind of happened, didn't it? Oh, well, that's... I mean, some people <laughs> might disagree this year. They just lost 4-1 to Celta Vigo yeah, exactly. a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but Barcelona, and they, with the likes of Lionel Messi out, and they're conceding goals more than anything. They conceded uh, early in the last game. I mean, not saying I'm not saying Manchester City would by all means win the league. I'm, I'm not stupid here. Um, this season for me, La Liga... There's, there's been some signs of maybe uh, other teams emerging up a little bit. As you just said there, Valencia looked threatening. Sevilla at times looked threatening, but I don't think they're as hot in form as they were last season. Atletico Madrid, only two points adrift from the top of, the, uh, of La Liga, are always there or thereabouts. Now, I do agree with you that Manchester City, I think, would be pushing for third. I think that they still would have, uh, depending on who, who, who they could keep fit as well, with Aguero being out, he, he knows La Liga football. He knows how to score goals there, but again, he was in a different system, a different team. It's a very interesting conversation. You can break it down many ways. Now, my main factor is I think that uh, La Liga has better attacking players and has more, I would say, offensive flair than anything else. And I think that uh, Manchester City's defence would not be able to handle that week in, week out. I think that when a team, they come up against a team like you mentioned with Spurs, who just on their day were on point going forward and they utilised wide areas and exploited Manchester City's weaknesses, I think that would come back to bite them in the ass and I think that they would probably be lucky to finish third, I do agree. Now, attacking-wise, I think that they could compete with any of the teams in the top level of La Liga when they're all fit. I think the way they're... I think De Bruyne is that kind of missing piece of the puzzle, puzzle at the moment. I think that he's playing so well and if you've got him... We've yet to see him really week in, week out with David Silva, Aguero and Raheem Sterling. Now, for me, those are four of the most exciting players in world football today going forward. And I think that they could obviously live up to the flair that many people expect to see in La Liga, but I just think that the defence would let them down similarly to what has let them down in Premier League football. City are the only team, certainly in the Premier League at the moment, who've got an attacking a kind of pantheon of attackers to even sort of compare to Barcelona and Real Madrid. Um, Sterling looked absolutely terrifying recently. Yeah. But yeah, obviously it is a matter of keeping them fit. Um, Aguero, when was the last time Aguero went through a full season without missing a month or two? Exactly. It yeah. doesn't happen. And yeah, the, the defence is basically, it's not quite tissue paper. Vincent Company's looked a lot better this season than he did last. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're starting Bakary Sanya, 
<laughs> I mean, what do you expect? Yeah, it's it's a key it's a key factor of uh, Manchester City's defenders when they bind together look decent. But if you isolate any of them one on one against a world class opponent, I think that they'll still be the question marks. I mean, I I highly rate Marata for Juventus and just a swift bit of movement where it left Mangala in the dust, even though Mangala, as athletic as he is, just kind of ball watches. So I do agree, and I, I have to agree with the point on Vincent Company. I was his heaviest critic last season. I thought he was diabolical at times, but he's definitely got his act together this season. And he is still a player that, that, that's been carrying Manchester City. But uh, even though Kolarov's had a good start to the season, he might be injured now, but uh, I still think you isolate some of those players one-on-one, -on -one, not just against the likes of Ronaldo or Messi or Suarez or Neymar, but someone like Griezmann. I think would terrorise them, given the, the, the ability to do so in the La Liga surroundings well. As well, the physical presence isn't going to live up to it as much. You can't go in and smack him in a tackle and expect for him to kind of be wary because La Liga refereeing uh, is a lot, I would say, a lot more harsh and uh, they'd be penalised more so. So that's another factor to take into it. I think that, uh, I think we're at a, a similar uh, area when we're both talking about this, that third or fourth would be uh, where Manchester City should be expecting to finish in that. Really shouldn't surprise anyone because Barcelona, Real Madrid, both Atletico there and thereabouts, are still two of the best teams in the world. Manchester City have still yet to prove themselves in Premier in uh, Champions League football. They've just been awful since they've uh, they've came into money and emerged into this scene. They just can't seem to figure out the right recipe in Champions League football. So when it comes to La Liga, I don't think anyone could say, despite their their hot form uh, recently, um, I don't think that they could tip Barcelona or Real Madrid as of yet. You don't have to be great to beat Manchester City, you just have to be good. Yeah. Um, which you couldn't say about your Real Madrid, you can't say that about Barcelona, you've got to be very, very good to beat Atletico. Um, I mean, we'll see We'll see if they can improve this season in the Champions League, so far it looks like not so much. Yeah. I don't know, I just don't buy this Manchester City team as an ongoing threat, because they, they're getting older. I mean, obviously they brought in Sterling and uh, De Bruyne now, but Yaya Torres getting older, Vincent Company's getting on. You know, he's having a bit of a resurgence, but there's only so long that can last. And the uh, the likes of Otamendi and Mangala behind Company don't look as good. Um, I mean, all right, you know, they're not a bad team. Yeah, <laughs> but they've got a lot of work to do going forwards if they ever want to compete with um, with Barca and Real. Yeah. So, so what about was this last question to wrap it up? What about uh, any other Premier League team that you think could potentially put up a, a, a good challenge in La Liga football? I know many people would expect to go with Arsenal because, oh, they play the good, the nice football similar to the way that Barcelona and Real Madrid play. And I would just say, well, they also don't defend as well as they do playing that style. So I don't think that they would be able to compete. If it was me, I think Manchester City, out of anyone in the Premier League at the moment, would have the best chance of finishing top four, even top five. I think teams like... Manchester United and Arsenal would struggle as well because similar to the problems with Manchester City, there's a lot of holes at the back at times and I think that teams like Atletico, uh, even Valencia could exploit that in pit teams like uh, Barcelona, tip teams like uh, Manchester United and Arsenal. What do you think? I think that the, the team, the Premier League team would have the best chance in the league would probably be an unformed Chelsea. Oh. Um, just because when they, when John Terry has his head screwed on right. They're the best defensive team in the country. Um, Diego Costa's proven, you know, he proved for Atletico that he can bully defenders in La Liga in a way that isn't going to get called for as many free kicks and yellow cards and stuff. I think there's the elements of that team are all together. It's just a matter of getting them to play properly. I think, honestly, I think Chelsea would do perhaps better in the Liga than they would in the Premier League at the moment. That's a bold statement. I, I think if that was to be... I'm never going to be proved wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think if that was to be uh, applied, I think you would have to have John Terry from last season, which you never know, he might come back to last season. You would need to have Ivanovic. I don't even, even know if you'd have to have Ivanovic because even when he was on form last season, I still said one-on-one, -on -one, I, I take a, a, a right-footed left winger any day over Ivanovic. He can only take players down the line. If you cut inside on Ivanovic, you're going to take him any day. So imagine him coming up weekly against the likes of Griezmann, who's going to cut inside, even though he's not uh, preferred on that foot. But Neymar, as he would play directly against them. I just think that even in informed Chelsea, I think that they would still be there or thereabouts in Man City. I still don't know who would finish uh, a little bit above them. I think it would come down to consistency. 
and you can only look back at maybe Chelsea of last season to think that they could be consistent in that. But then when they come up against a team of that higher quality, I think last season uh, Chelsea won the league, but they also were not informed towards the end of it and neither team really wanted to catch them, I didn't think. Whereas you get a team like PSG who wanted to play against Chelsea, who wanted to, to fight harder than them, they beat them. And I think that uh, Chelsea, even when they were informed last season at games, I think when I look at the Champions League and anything else, I didn't think that they were extraordinary in that sense. I think that teams could still beat them uh, uh, over a, a weekend, a week by week basis, I still think they might struggle against uh, Atletico and even Valencia, but I think they'd be there or thereabouts, similar to Man City. So uh, we'll we'll somewhat agree on that. We'll somewhat agree, <laughs> but we'll leave the comments to our comment section because they have their opinions on this. I know many people will probably say we're crazy for even thinking that any of them could finish in this realm, but that's what we want to do. We want to spark some controversy. We want to get the conversation going. So make sure to check out 90min.com. Chris, Chris will be in there writing great articles for them. Uh, make sure to follow him on Twitter. Where can we find you on Twitter, Chris? Uh, that's Chris1209. Perfect. All right, check him out there. Francis underscore Maxwell here. As always, go back to TYT Sports for many talking points like this that you won't get anywhere else on TYT Sports.